After six years of development, a new MRT train service will soon be open to the public. This Samantan Kajang route covers 30 kilometers and 19 stations. Not only is it a remarkable feat of engineering, it is also a work of art. Even if you're not a frequent train rider, you might want to check out what each station along the Samantan Kajang has to offer, especially at its seven underground stations. Each station conveys a specific theme. In Museum Nagara, the concourse level is filled with columns depicting modes of public transport from the yesteryears. One of the features of the Pasar Seni station are these maps on the wall that illustrate the growth of Kuala Lumpur through different time periods centred around the confluence of the Sklang and Gombak rivers. But perhaps the most visually interesting of them all is the station near Stadium Mondeka. It features patriotic images at its concourse level and a mural of the father of independence, the late Tunku Abdul Rahman. There is also a wall that highlights the Rukun Nagara, which is expected to be a popular spot for taking selfies. Each station also has its own set of seat designs built for specific purposes. With 31 stations in total, MRT Corporation believes the 51km Sungai Bulo Kajang Line will provide over 1.2 million inhabitants with a reliable mode of travel. So imagine for the family who needs to go and visit their loved ones in the hospital. Very easy for them. So those are the examples that I can give you. But then my point is that, you know, life of these people who live along the alignment, specifically, and people in uh, Greater Klang Valley in general, will be changed quite tremendously upon opening of this uh, real uh, uh, service uh, next week. As for project director Marcus Karakashian, he is extremely proud with the end result of the MRT project. I'm really happy for this. I'm, it's like giving, you know, it's like giving birth. I, I'm giving it and then I'm, you know, I, I, I want it to open. I want it to open. Not because I want to get rid of it, but I want people to see what's been done because it, it is something special. According to Karakashian, passengers can expect a train within four minutes during peak hours and a total travel time of 84 minutes from Sungai Bulo to Kajang. Phase 2 of the SBK line will be launched by Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak on July 17.